Hi guys, so today I am going to be showing you how to make a doll notebook for back to school for your Barbies. Um, I was, yesterday we went to CVS, they had these cute little, like, they were big paper clips, but they were like so cute. I was going to get the tiger ones, they had like little tigers at the top and cats and schools, it was really cool, but I didn't get it. Okay, so here's a little book that we'll be making. I made... One, two, three, four, five. I made five of these little books for my dolls. Um, they each say their names, Chelsea, and then on the back they all have math. Um, I just wrote math on the back because I don't know. Pretend like they're math notebooks, but the mom just buy them for journals. Okay, so what you've been needing for this project is two types of construction paper or printer paper. So first you're going to need a white sheet of printer paper or construction and the color of your choice. I'm using pink because I use pink for all of my books. Okay, oh, you're going to need some scissors and a pencil. So let's get started. First, what you'll be needing to do, I'm going to use my book as a measurement, is take and cut out a squarish, rectangleish, you know, a book size that you would want for your dolls. Yeah, I have to clean my scissors off because I was working with duct tape last night and it kind of messed up, so... That's why they're not cut until well. Okay, so I can use this. Yeah, I know my mom messed up my desk. That's why there's like a huge black spot right here. But I'm gonna get a new desk for right now. It's gonna be brown, probably. I'm just tracing around my book. You're going to leave, like, a big triangle, like, you're just going to cut out, like, the measurement of you want, but you're going to have, like, a big triangle. So then you're going to fold that into the size book that you would like. And I'm going to take my book and measure it. So now you have your little cover. Take your pencil. Oh, and you're also going to need a hot glue gun. So take your pencil. Draw a rectangleish square in the middle. And write something in it like a name. This is going to be the dad's book. So I'm going to write dad. Then draw stuff on it. Okay, then do that the same on the back, and I'm just going to do one illustration. <coughs> like so, and know if you're wondering, it is not nighttime, it's daytime. 
It's just that I have my light turned off and the sun, like a little bit of the sun is coming in. Okay, so. Now you're going to take the book that you just made with a little cover and take your white paper and cut out a rectangle from that measurement. Okay. I'm going to measure mine again. Okay. Fold it in half. You're actually going to need to cut out like two rectangles to get four pages. That's how I do mine. I cut out two rectangles. Well, I cut out one first and then another. So, yeah, no, I'm weird. Okay, so there's one page, well, two pages together. Like that. Another rectangle. I'm going to measure it again. You always want to measure it second. But I mean, you can always trim it up. So That's what we do last, is trim it up. Okay. Gonna take it and fold it. I'm just using the book that I already made to get all the exact measurements. That's what I did with all my books. Once you have one book, and if you want to make more, I would suggest using the same book and trace it. Okay, so now you have your two little white folds and your pink fold. Open. Open up one of your white folds. Take your hot glue gun. Put hot glue right there in the middle of it or any other glue I prefer hot glue because it lasts only in the middle of it don't put it nowhere else because it will mess up whoops wait for that to dry okay so see opens take and make sure you have your book right and you don't open it backwards take and put hot glue in the middle then take your white pages and put that in the middle of it too make sure it's lined up correctly and everything and yeah just yeah like you'll be actually making a real book and set, you'll be sewing it, I think. I don't know how real books are made. Okay, so then after it's dry, trim it up. <laughs> what the freak? Okay, there we go. There's your cute little books. This one's actually a little bit shorter than this one, but well. Um, so yeah. Now I have five of those. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you later. Oh, you can also do it with foam, but inside of it, make sure it's construction paper or printer and then you can also put like a ribbon around it that's what i'm gonna do with all my girls books so yeah um thank you guys for watching uh bye
Hey, yeah, you can like see the sunlight right there shining on my school books. Anyway, bye.